Hey guys, Stefan here, the Photo Guru, and today I'm going to do another comparison for you. This time, the Leif Ladbergs by the Giants, Blurred and Shutterfly. I reviewed both of these books in the past, uh, the Lay Flat and the Standard books as well. By far, these were the most searched companies on my blog and on YouTube as well, so I thought it's time to do a comparison of the Lay Flat books because Blurb's Lay Flat book is fairly new and many of you were asking me which one is better and how they compare. So in this video, I'm going to show them side by side in each of the categories, uh, cover paper binding, printing process, editing, full price and delivery. Now, so many of you were asking me to come up with some kind of a scoring system for all of these reviews and comparison videos. I still believe, I firmly believe that what's better for me is not necessarily better for you, but I'm going to trial a new system in this video uh, where I'm going to give points for each book. If in any of the categories one book wins, it's going to get three points, the other one is going to get one point. If they both do really well and I can't decide on a winner, they are both going to get two points each. So hopefully that's going to make it a little bit easier. Of course, I'm going to give a detailed explanation of why I gave the points and what to watch out for, what they offer. And in the end, I'm going to give you a new why choose this and why choose that. So I'm going to give you tips why I choose Blurb and why I choose Shutterfly. Before I start going into my up close shots, I want to give you um, a little bit of a company info. So Shutterfly has been on the market for ages, but both companies have, and they're both multinational corporations with a huge market share. But Shutterfly is focusing on home gifts and photo gifts. So their website has everything from photo books to blankets, wall art, and ashtrays and bottles and you know anything you can put your photo on Shutterfly is going to do it for you. Their photo book range is vast, they have uh, standard photo books, lay flat photo books, premium photo books and also flush mount books. Blurb on the other hand started off as a self-publishing company so they don't do any home gifts but you can publish trade books, you can publish um, recipe books, you can create magazines and photo books. Their photo book range has been extending continuously. Now what you need to know about Blurb is that you can publish your own photo books or any kind of books that you create with Blurb and you can sell them on their website and also on Amazon so you can make actually money of all of the books that you create. Now let's start with a few disclosures before I start announcing any winners and giving any points to anybody. First of all, this is not a sponsored post. I paid for both of these books and you will hear nothing but my honest opinion. Number two, all the winners, scores and losers are based solely on my personal opinion and experience. And finally, I'm only comparing the lay flag books by both of these companies. I'm not talking about the flush mount books or the standard photo books because it would be way too complicated. So everything that I talk about, all the options and all the things you can choose and go for, are just in respect to the lay flag books. If you're not going to watch this to the end, don't forget both companies offer regular deals on their photo books, so never pay full price. Shutterfly offers regular deals up to 50% off, Blurb up to 35% off. If you want to find out about these deals, go to my blog, thephotobookguru.com slash deals, and I always have the latest deals running for both of these companies. So let's dive in. Let's start with number one, sizes. This one is the Shutterfly book, and this one is the Blurb. The Blurb book here is an 18 by 18 centimeter book, a square book, and the Shutterfly is eight by eight inches. So both companies offer five sizes. The Shutterfly book comes in eight by eight, 11 by eight, 10 by 10, 12 by 12, and 11 by 14 inches. The Blur book comes in 18 by 18, 20 by 25, 25 by 20, 30 by 30, and 33 by 28 centimeters. So as you can see, the two size ranges are almost completely identical. So for this reason, there's no winner in the size category. They both did really well. They have a nice selection, so they both get two points each. Let's move on to the covers section. Let me start with Shutterfly again. It offers four different cover options. One is the glossy image wrap hardcover. It also comes in a matte image wrap hardcover, a genuine leather and the crushed silk cover. So four different cover options. And the one I've got here is the glossy image wrap hardcover. 
and as you can see it has a lovely lovely sheen and it's fully personalized you can have anything you want on the front on the back and on the spine as well you can have your usual text now as you can see on the back you've got a small barcode which you can have removed for a surcharge and that's how it looks so it's a beautiful cover i absolutely love it blurb on the other hand has only one cover option for the lay flat books which i find a little bit irritating because they have three options for all the other books however with the lay flat books they restricted the options to only one which is a matte image rep hardcover it's almost identical to the shutterfly one but it's obviously the matte version of it as you can see there is no shine at all it's fully personalized the front the back and the spine as well here you haven't got the barcode on the back instead it's going to be in the end of the book so i guess that's a plus but you've only got one option so just to give you a side by side comparison there's the matte blurb and the glossy shutterfly both covers are really good quality but for the sole reason of shutterfly offering four different options and blurb only one i'm going to say that shutterfly is the clear winner here it's getting three points and blurb is getting one point Let's move on to the binding process. Shutterfly offers two binding options. One is a hinged lay flat and the other one is a seamless deluxe lay flat. I haven't got a hinged lay flat book from Shutterfly but I've got one from a different company so I can show you what that means if you don't know what it is. So if you've never seen hinged lay flat it means that the pages are basically attached to a hinge in the middle and the book stays fully open but it's not going to be a complete um, flow of images because there is a break in the middle and that's how they usually look on the top. Again, this is not a Shutterfly book, but it's the same technology or method used in the Shutterfly hinged version as well. Now, if you go for the deluxe version, then the book is going to be seamlessly flat. So the pages are printed on double spreads and then they are stuck together creating an uninterrupted look. So the book starts with an empty double spread and then your photos start on the right side of the second spread. And if you have a look at this, it's completely flat and there's no break anywhere in the middle. So it's amazing for panoramic shots and double page spreads like this one or here in the Grand Canyon. As you can see, it's a beautiful spread and there's no break anywhere and that's how the book looks. When you go to the end, you've got the Shutterfly logo and the barcode here as well, and this is how it looks from the top. Now, if we have a look at the blurb lay flat book, it's just like the Deluxe from Shutterfly, so it opens completely flat, it's printed on double spreads, and it is an uninterrupted flow of images. Uh, it's a really great binding, it's basically identical to Shutterfly Deluxe, but Blurb doesn't offer a cheaper version, so the Lay Flat book is by default seamless. On the back, you've got the logo there, and as you've seen, the photos start on the right side just after the cover, so there is no empty double spread to start with. If you look at the top, that's how it looks. Camera focus, thank you. And let's put the two next to each other. Identical. Both really great, high quality bindings, not going to fall apart. Although you have to pay a bit of an extra to get the Deluxe with Shutterfly, I'm still going to call this a tie because both bindings are really good quality and um, they are basically identical. So uh, two points for each company, Blurb and Shutterfly in the binding section. Let's go on to the paper options. So Shutterfly offers one paper option for each binding choice. If you go with the hinged lay flat version, you're going to get a matte paper option. But if you go for the deluxe, the one that I'm talking about, it's going to come with a beautiful, lustrous photo paper. So let me show you the texture. Hopefully you can see here the pearly texture. It's a beautiful, lustrous finish and it's really thick. So the combined way of the paper is 380 GSM grams per square meter and colors look amazing on it. Very happy with the paper, good choice, Shutterfly. This was my biggest disappointment with the new Blurb Lay Flat book. Blurb usually offers five different papers, uh, they have different thicknesses and you can choose any of these for the cheaper books. Now with the Lay Flat, which is the most exclusive and the most expensive book in the range, 
they offer the worst paper option. Now you can disagree with me here, but this is the uncoated. And as you can see, the colors look a little bit dull and lifeless. And the reason for that is that there is no shine at all to this book. It's completely matte, as you can see. And uncoated means that the inks are going to dissolve a little bit around the edges. So it's not going to be as sharp as it should be. Now, obviously, it's not something that you would notice when you look at the picture. But if you compare it to a different book, you'll notice it instantly. And that's the kind of coloring you get. And here you can hopefully see that it's very easy to see the texture of the paper because it's uncoated. And again, this should be a lot warmer and a little bit more vibrant. And there again, you can see the paper fibers because it is an uncoated paper and it's a matte paper as well. So unless you really love matte papers and uncoated papers, I can guarantee this is not going to be your favorite choice from the blurb paper options, but unfortunately, this is the only one you can have in the lay flat books at the moment. If it wasn't clear by now, in the paper section, Shutterfly is definitely the winner for me. It gets three points, Blurb gets one point. Right, let's move on to the printing process. Both companies use digital printers. However, Shutterfly offers now a new upgrade where you can pay a little bit of an extra to get uh, the advantages of six color printing. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't really comment on it, but to my knowledge, six color printing is basically the same as four color printing, but you're going to get a, a bigger range of colors, so it should be a little bit more accurate, and the transitions between the color tones should be more natural. Apart from that, um, when I compare the prints in these two books, at first sight, blurb seems a lot worse. However, if I compare my Shutterfly book to another blur book which uses the Proline Pearl or the Luster paper, then the print quality is going to be identical. So when I say that the blur book looks a little bit lifeless and dull, it's not because of the printing process, it's because of the paper choice. I should say Shutterfly is the winner for me, but because I have so many other blurb books and they all look really great, I'm going to give both companies two points because the printers are just as good. Now let's move on to the editing process. Shutterfly has only one online editor and they offer three parts and one is the custom, one is the simple, and there is a make my book or design my book service. If you go with their online editor, you can obviously connect to various um, sources of photographs from Facebook, your computer, phone, etc. And the themes are in two categories. There are certain themes which are free, and there are storytelling themes which look absolutely beautiful. This one was one of the storytelling themes and as you can see, they are so creative. I didn't have to come up with any of these designs. They were automatically in the theme and each theme is going to have lots of stickers, lots of fonts and layouts. So all you have to do really is drag your photos into the uh, slots and, and, um, and picture holders. I absolutely love the storytelling themes. They are beautiful, they are creative just like Mixbook, the only problem with them is that they charge you $6 for using them. Again, it could easily be um, built into the price. Blurb, on the other hand, works a little bit differently. They have six ways of making books. One is the BookRite, which is their downloadable software. The editor has the most features, lots of templates, lots of layouts. However, it's nowhere near as creative as the Shutterfly storytelling themes. The second one is Bookify, which is basically the same as BookRite, but the online version of it, it has slightly less features, and there's also an app version of the Blurb editor, which is really, really restricted in regards to the sizes and the uh, templates available. Apart from this, you've got three pro features. You can also use Adobe Lightroom. It has a built-in Blurb module. You can use Adobe InDesign and download the templates from the Blurb website. And you can also upload any kind of PDFs and get them to be printed with Blurb. For this reason, again, I'm going to call it a tie because although Shutterfly looks better, um, Blurb has certainly far more potential to it if you want to use a pro software or if you want to do it offline, online or from your phone. So they are good in different ways, but they both do really well in the editing section. Two points each. Now, 
One of the most important aspects, let's see the price. The Shutterfly 12 by 12 inch book for 20 pages is $140 and the same size blur book for the same amount of pages is $95 full price. Now you can instantly see how much cheaper blurb is but both companies provide regular deals so we have to consider those to get a better picture of the actual price you're going to pay. Shutterfly is running a deal this week which is 50% off so you can get the $140 book for $72. However blurb also has a deal this week which is 35% off so you can get the $95 book for $72. So despite the bigger discount the Shutterfly offers, Blurb still works out cheaper. So the clear winner here for me is Blurb is getting three points and Shutterfly is getting one point. Last but not least, let's talk about delivery. Both companies offer four different um, options for delivery, starting from economy, going to priority. Blurb delivery ranges from $5.99 to $23.99 and Shutterfly ranges from $7.99 to $19.99. Now both companies offer free shipping with their um, respective deals so even though Blurb is $2 cheaper you can get both of these books delivered for free so for that reason I'm going to call it a tie and both companies get two points. Right, so that's me finish with every single aspect of the books. I hope the scoring helped you to see a better picture of which book is doing better. Looking at nothing but the overall score, we can see that Shutterfly is definitely the winner. Not by a lot, but by two points. And I think the two points really reflect the abundance of options that you can choose regarding the covers and other attributes of the book. Now let me give you a final why choose this and why choose that, because the score in itself is not going to be valid for everybody. So the reasons why you should choose Blurb, it's cheaper. With a deal or without a deal, it's going to be easier on your wallet, on your budget. So if you want to create a lot of books, then Blurb is going to be a better value. It also offers far more editing platforms. So if you're a pro and you want to use um, Adobe or uh, use a PDF upload, you created your book somewhere else, then you can only do that at blurb.com. Shutterfly is not offering the same options for editing. And finally, the best thing about Blurb is that you can actually make money from your photo books. If you create books that you think other people would buy and have a look at, then you can easily put them onto Amazon or the Blurb platform and you can get commissions every month being sent to your bank account. Now, why choose Shutterfly? Number one, it has far more cover options than Blurb and the covers are nicer. Number two, it has better templates. They are easier to use. They look fabulous out of the box. And finally, the paper type is so much better, in my opinion, than the blurb. I really love the satin luster finished photo paper. It gives better colors and it also looks a bit more vivid and vibrant. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any more questions about this comparison, uh, you can leave them in the comments. I try to answer them. You can also read more about this review on my blog. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and give me ideas what you would like to see in my next comparison video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.